is Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahushai, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahushai, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahushai. First and foremost, want to give all praises and glory to Yahawa by Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the elders who rule well a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four kind of art to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth, shallow one. You know, this evening to come the next lesson to feed the elect and the nation of Israel, the hundred and forty four thousand, the one third men, women, and children. You know, I just want to touch on pride, you know, and your emotion, you know, your pride and emotion um, in can be the cause of you, you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian being destroyed in these last days with these plagues that you have about Shem Yahweh Shagan sin on the earth, you know, great destruction, you know, and you too, are gonna be destroyed because of pride and your emotion. Where you feel it shouldn't happen, you know, <clears throat> you feel you feel you have about Shem Yahweh Shagan shouldn't destroy America. Uh, you feel how Hashem Yahushai should bring great judgment to this wicked kingdom, you know? But your emotion can make you be destroyed and also your pride. Because a lot of you, a lot of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians got pride. Even some, 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 of you, some of you Jakes who claim that you're the truth got pride and hate correction too, you know? So they're going to they're, they're make, make you be destroyed. Because the most I deal with the humble. The most I deal with the humble. So that's a little lesson to edify the church, you know. Um God the most I bring a great destruction. You know, after after the, the solar eclipse, we seeing how the most I bring a great destruction to this place. Hurricane or must soon hit. We had Hurricane Harvey Harvey the other day. Now Hurricane Harma soon hit. They said 9-11, which is 11th of September, you know, and they're going to hit the whole of East Coast. You know, so the most I bring a great judgment on this wicked kingdom. You know, and all this is the beginning of sorrow. You know, so your pride and your emotion are going to be, be, gonna make, gonna be the cause of you being destroyed in these last days. Right? This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 verse 7. He said, pride is hateful before the power of Yahweh and man. And by both do it one commit iniquity. Sins. That's that's how you commit iniquity. Iniquity sins, you know. So pride is hateful before the Mosai. And man, you know. Yeah, there's there's the most I hate a prideful man. Yeah, the most I hate that man. Alright. Um I jump down to verse and jump to verse nine. He said, why is art and ashes proud? Yeah, because we are we are we are we are just ashes. We are art. So why are you being proud when you just when you just art and ashes? Right? Uh get a quick precept. Uh, this is um Ecclesiastical chapter 17, verse 32. He said he viewed it, he viewed the power of the heights of heaven. And all men are but earth and ashes. So all men are but earth and ashes. So when you being proud, the most I hate you. Yeah, the most I hate you. And the most I do hate too. Yeah, the most I do hate. So the most I hate a prideful person. Right? Back in uh, Ecclesiastical chapter 10, verse 9. He said, why is earth and ashes proud? There is, there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such an one set his own soul to seal, because while he live it, he casts away his bowels. Right? So, like you see, scripture said, the most, I, the most I hate a proud man. So, you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American in your way being proud, you know, being prideful, you know, not taking correction, you don't want to do your own thing, and you're going off. And then they have the emotionals one them. When we correct any nigga woman, they come out and say we disrespect any woman. Giving 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 a warning, telling them if they don't repent they're gonna die. You know, telling them they need to stop being being uh, harlots and be stop being sluts. That's not disrespecting them. That's giving them a warning because great destruction coming to this place. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gonna bring great destruction. 
So that is love to tell our people, repent, turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and you nigger, you sims, you know, prideful. So you, where, where you sow is where you're going to reap. You sow pride and you sow emotion, you're going to reap destruction. Right? Um, Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. So chapter 4 verse 12. He said the beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh. The beginning of pride is when a man departed from the Mosai. You get prideful. And the most I hated, the most I hated a prideful person. Right? For he said that for the big for the Salaki for pride. Salaki um, Ecclesiastical chapter 10 verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the power of Yahweh and his heart is torn away from his maker. Yeah, your heart torn away from your maker. You understand? Can a mortal man be more pure than his maker? You know, people want to say, oh, um, the most I shouldn't, why, why do, um, the most I not going to do that, and the most I not going to do this, or the most I shouldn't do this. Who is you? Who is you to tell the most I what to do, what to do and do? The most I is king over, over the king in the earth and in the, hev and in the heavens. He can do whatever he want. And everything that the most I do is righteousness. Who's we to say the most I shouldn't do this and the most I shouldn't do that? That is a prideful nigga. The most I create us. So whoever the most I say is righteousness, either you hear or you forbear, either you do it or be destroyed. It's simple as that. Right? This is um, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride is a pride good before destruction. Yeah, pride good before destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall. Yeah, and a and a proud spirit before a fall. Right? So you pride you prideful niggas, you proud niggas, you know, you emotional niggas. Right? Likewise, you nigger woman that gonna be destroyed. You know? To the sisters out there who humble herself and take correction. This 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 is not speaking to you. And brothers who you know humble and humble in the self repenting and talking to Yahweh Yahweh Shai. This is not this is not referring to you. But the ones them who gonna react when they hear this thing, these are the ones that messages uh speaking about. You know? Speaking about them. Because what a prideful and you know, on a full of emotions. Because what they get it they get this emotion from the from, from the wicked ass mother who 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 um who grow them up. Right? So it's a pride good before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Verse 19. He said, Better is he said, better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lonely than to divide the spoil with the proud. So it's better to be it's better to be with a humble spirit. Because the most I the most I look to a humble man. You know, the most, the most I can exalt a humble man. The most I can guide a humble man and protect a humble man. But when you're proud and prideful, the most I can destroy you. Right? So you got you to gotta be humble. But, but your pride and your emotion going gonna be, gonna, gonna, gonna to be the cause that you're going to be destroyed in these last days. Guys, great plagues the most I bring on this face of the planet. Great plagues. You know the most I eyes are, the most I eyes is on the sinful kingdom. Yeah, the most I can destroy it. Right? The scripture also says, All the sinners of my people shall die in Am in Amos 9. Right? And this back in Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. Um verse verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. For pride is the beginning of sin. And what is the sin? A sin is the transgression of the law. 1 John 3 and 4, for pride is the beginning of sin. So when you pride for your sinning, because you're going against the most high word, the most high said don't eat pork, don't shave your beard, you know, women don't wear pants, you know, don't don't worship these idols, don't celebrate these 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 um, pagan holidays. Right? Do what the scripture say. But no, you niggas you niggas got pride. You niggas full of emotion. 
right? It's, um, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that had it shall pour out abomination. The most I hate all, abomin all abomination. Um, this is um, Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus chapter 15, verse 13. He said, The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hated all abomination, and they that fear the Lord, and they that fear the power Yahweh love it not. So the most I hate all abomination, and they that love the most I Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai love it not. And this is the elect. Right? Yeah, back in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 13. He said, For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that he, and he that had it shall pour out abomination, and therefore the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai brought upon them strange calamity, like Houston, the flood, Hurricane Harvey, flood of the homes. Right now, shot is a fool, shot is a water. Right, strange calamity. You understand? Right now, I'm um, in um, LA and uh, San, um, San, San Francisco. Right now, fire. Strange calamities. Orma. Hurricane Orma come in. A category 5, I think category 5 or category 6. Gonna take out the whole of the East Coast. India, flood. So this destruction come. You've seen uploaded people in Venezuela. Syria, we see we're going to have it North Korea and America and Russia, Japan, South Korea, rumors of war. The most I'm not going to play, the most I'm not playing, the most I'm bringing judgment. Now it's time to get yourself right. Now it's not time to be slacky, be, be prideful or, or emotional. Right? Um, yeah, it's... Um, And therefore the Lord Yahweh brought upon them strange calamity and overthrew them utterly. Yeah, to totally you're going to be destroyed. You are going to be destroyed because of your pride and your emotions. You're going to be destroyed. Right? You're going to be destroyed. Um, this is um, from to verse 18. He said, Pride was not made for men. Pride was not made for men. You're not supposed to be prideful. You're supposed to, you're supposed to accept correction when you're going off. Not being prideful. Right? He said, Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that, that are born of a woman. Right? The Bible scriptures say, um, Great misery shall be done unto them. They know that what? Um, that's roughly paraphrasing. Great misery shall be done to them because they walk in great pride. Right? This is um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. Right? He said, A man's pride shall bring him low. A man's pride shall bring him low. Destruction. He said, But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. This is why you gotta be humble. Because this the man there's a man you have about him, you shall look to a man of a humble spirit and a contrite heart. This is who you have about him, you shall look to. So you gotta be humble. You gotta be humble. Right? And like I say, your pride and your emotion can be, can be the cause of you being destroyed in these times. You understand? You're gonna be destroyed. This is um second is just chapter eight. Uh, chapter eight verse fifty, right? He said, For great misery shall be done unto them in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So the most I said great miseries. Hurricane Orma come in. They got famine come in, economy collapse. On the 20, 20, 29th of this month, is it dead ceiling for the U.S. economy? That means they can't borrow any more money. They see the, they don't see the rock shall take all the assets out of America already. So it's great, you know, great destruction coming to this place because you so can Negroes, Latin, and Native American in the walk in great pride. 
right? Great pride, martial law, they're gonna put you in female camp. When this make it should become monetary. Two thirds of you gonna be destroyed. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Native American and Indian gonna be destroyed because you're walking great pride. So you gotta repent, turn back to your house, Bashem Yahweh Shai, because the door of repentance open right now. You gotta repent. You know, with that, hope this video was edifying. I wanna give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the apostles and the elders who rule a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four county yard to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.